We in that real New York time, you heard? I got Sam Billow with me, you know the vibe, nigga. All right, you trendsetters. I'm running on my wrist, watch me chase the game. You told on your homies, love ain't the same. I see my mama struggle, had to make a way. I told her mama, move over, I'ma pave the way. I'm running on my wrist, watch me chase the game. You told on your homies, love ain't the same. I see my mama struggle, I'ma make a way. I told her mommy, move over, I'ma pave the way. I'm shark, she be swimming with the fishes. Yellow diamond shit be looking like I'm pissing. Still bang on a nigga, Blake Griffin. Fuck a shot, let we get a nigga lifted. Uh, all this money in the wall like Yowda. To you the MMG, you know a nigga got his crowd up. We gon' get it, I have a count in every hour. More to white, like Tommy Wick, ghost that got the power. I've been that nigga since 9-6. Only run with trappers, killers, and convicts. See my man kill with a smile, been calm six. Shots at the V, we making the car flip. Uh, we lost Quizzy, and we ain't trying to lose again. Heads have him, if he move, nigga, shoot again. War time, we got no picks, nigga, shoot his friend. Ain't no doubling back, we can't get cool again. I'm uh, running on my wrist, watch me change the game. You told on your homies, love ain't the same. I see my mama struggle, had to make a way. I told her mama, move over, I'ma pave the way. I'm uh, running on my wrist, watch me change the game. You told on your homies, love ain't the same. I see my mama struggle, I'ma make a way. I told her mama, move over, I'ma pave the way. Time, but I see clear. Gotta thank the man above, cause I know without him, I wouldn't be here. But let's just be clear, I really set the bar high and kept my wheels going through the storm like a car shot. They ain't with you till you pull up in that hard top and make it disappear from a button, watch they heart drop. My bar's hot, but my delivery immaculate. Being with a scope, so when it fire, it's accurate. Ice got my neck on froze, look like I fractured. This the type of shit you gon' have to go save your taxes with. Real niggas still around, let's get back to it. Separate these Instagram niggas from who was actually. Before rap, I was trafficking OT Getting pounds, breaking down the fractions of OZs I had to wait my turn and watch the game from the nosebleeds I'm from the Bronx where niggas go to war with they cold jeans oh, oh. So I'm sorry if I don't trust you, nigga Before I take from a man, I'd rather hustle, nigga I executed my plan and got destructive with it Real nigga, Hall of Fame, I better get inducted in it I can't respect you, you don't check on your kids Run around with some niggas, got you ready to bid You don't get respect unless I see respect what you give But what for this? I'm running on my wrist, watch me chase the game. You told on your homies, love ain't the same. I see my mama struggle, had to make a way. I told my mama move over, I'ma pave the way. I'm running on my wrist, watch me chase the game. You told on your homies, love ain't the same. I see my mama struggle, I'ma make a way. I told my mama move over, I'ma pave the way. Weight pit, deadlift, cameras at my door, time for a seg trip. Nobody shots, leaving his head split. Shotty up close, blast your legs flip. Brillo, R.I.U. My gun kick like it no kung fu. Get hung till you turn blue. When you in that cell, going through hell, it's only you. Niggas leave, money go, bitches too. Red laser on your shirt, no missing you. Automatics, binary, switches too. Chanel or Celine, shotgun, red, yellow shells on the machine. Gotta cut them out his jeans. Back to the basics, sweatpants and asics. Staying through this Hollison window with all patience. Rat niggas be wired up, y'all all agents. Find your body or something boarded up, fake it. I'm running on my wrist, watch me chase the game. You told on your homies, love ain't the same. My mama struggle, had to make a way. I told her mama move over. I'ma pave the way. I'm hunting on my wrist, watch me chase the game. You told on your homies, love ain't the same. I see my mama struggle, I'ma make a way. I told her mama move over. I'ma pave the way.
Yeah. I'm going out, nigga. <laughs> For four of us. Boop. Oh, we can't do that. <laughs> uh, uh. Got to make sure y'all can see these eyes. Because it's going to be a long night. Usher. Shout out to everybody in the building. If you haven't subscribed to Snapbox TV, that's where we need to go. If they're going to give me little numbers on my big channel, I'd rather get little numbers on my new channel. Flack, the Rock War skirt in the game plan. Now most of the wrestlers communities are mad at him for stealing Dusty Kid and threatening his own daughter online. I don't know what's going on with that. I got to look into that. But the reality of it is, how on Prodigy said, there's a war going on outside. No man is safe from. And most of y'all that's here, that started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team is here. Said we started from the bottom, now we here. We started from the bottom. We started from the pain. And we gonna end with the pain. See, because the one thing in this world that's universal, love is universal, but pain is too. And most of the people that come from where we come from, coming from where I'm from, I'm from. Yeah, I'm tipsy tonight, people. I'm going to be on my shit. I promise. I solemnly swear to be me. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the motherfucking truth. See, I got to ask you a question. Did you come here for the ugly truth? Or did you come here for a beautiful lie? You decide. Did you come here for me to rock you to sleep? Selling you some bullshit about how I was just for the people? You know, because when I started in this game... Sometimes people make shit easy for me. I hope this post is still up so I can respond to it because I'm not going to look for it if it's not. But I saw it and I'll respond to it because I know who I am. So I'm going to look for it real quick. Where this clown ass nigga at? Here you go. You are one of the top YouTubers, my brother. You're one of the top YouTubers. And to me, I think the money and the attention of YouTube threw you off your path. I think the money and the attention of YouTube threw Hassan Campbell off his path. So I'm going to challenge my brother Hassan Campbell, and I'm being respectful. Okay, I hope he responds in a respectful way because I know he often gets triggered and go on his emotional trauma tangents. I know he can get triggered and go on his emotional trauma tangents but i want hassan campbell in his next live after he's done cursing me out i want him to address why he has not in all these years of being on youtube and i think he's been on youtube he's been on youtube a good five six years why hasn't hassan campbell done anything to address child sex abuse or one of the top youtube I've been doing it my whole time on YouTube. So now you're dealing with an uneducated nigga. The only thing that the hood taught me is that the hood don't love nobody. It took my father and turned him to a dope fiend and he was at, at the age of 13. And my mother said he's lying. He wasn't a dope fiend. And my father's telling me the bitch was stupid. My mother was stupid. She didn't know he was a dope fiend. How Biggie said, money holds and closes all a nigga knows? That's all they gave us. Now you got an educated nigga that look like a pencil. You ever seen a pencil that never wrote an essay? 
You ever saw a pencil that was sharpened one time? One time. Brand new pencil. Nigga still got his hairline. You ever seen a little nigga when he started in the game? My hairline used to be down here. My hair used to be down here. Now my hairline is up here. It's equivalent to a pencil. My hairline used to be down here. Umar Johnson clearly ain't never been through no pain. But he got all the fucking answers. And the crazy part about it is, the nigga fell in love with the dirtiest. Let me tell y'all something, right? And I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I'm going to be disrespectful if I have to. New York niggas. Compared to the South. I don't mean to disrespect my South people, but New York outside of Atlanta? And I can't even compare New York to Atlanta because Atlanta was back in the day San Francisco. And when I say San Francisco, this new shit that's going on, that was San Francisco. I remember the first time I went to San Francisco with I guard and truck. And truck, if you watching, you know what I'm talking about. When we went to San Francisco, we never seen nothing like this shit that's going on today. San Francisco, back 20 years ago, was the world today when it comes to this colorful flag shit. But this shit right here, today, let me tell you something. When I went to Wilmington, North Carolina, I, and I swear, I solemnly swear, when I was out there grinding, shout out to my family out there in Wilmington, my, my, my family, Maine, Bo, everybody. Y'all know who y'all. I ain't got to say no names. When I was in Wilmington, North Carolina, I was a cheating nigga that didn't cheat not one time with them ugly ass bitches. Them bitches down there was dog ugly. I was in the supermarket looking at the white girls. The bitches was dog ugly. Arr, arr, arr. The bitches was ugly. Oh, y'all, what y'all did? Y'all got highs tonight? This shit right here? Y'all better start hitting the like button. Nigga, y'all got highs tonight. We gonna talk. Umar Johnson. Nigga, you sat up there and fell in love. Uh, in love. That Sukiyani chick. I don't care which state you from. But Sexy Red. And Sukiyani. In New York. Ew. Ew. And I'm going to make this shit clear right now. Oh no. We not sitting up here. And saying that chocolate females is ugly. We said them busted bitches right there, them dog, her, 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 ugly ass, them dog, her, her, them, them, them chicks, them chicks right there, not in New York. New York got bad ch chocolate chicks. New York got bad chocolate chicks. We ain't talking about them, her, 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 them chicks that look like they got herpes. We ain't talking about them hurt, hurt, hurt. Bitches look like they got you got you got syphilis. Nah, that's not what we talking about, nigga. Y'all got highs tonight. I'ma hit them in the head with the oh shaku. Look at my cup. Look at my Pepsi. Look at my coat. <laughs> what? Y'all thought I was gonna come here and be nice? You want the ugly truth or the beautiful lie? Hit the like button before I slap y'all niggas through the camera. Hit, hit, the, hit, hit the goddamn... Hit the like button. Y'all don't see the energy? Playing on Satan's platform? Huh? Y'all see how we playing on this same platform that killed Jesus? Ooh! What? Take the what and leave the what? Take the, take the weed and leave the money?
Tech the what? Elite? Y'all like my braids? Huh? Y'all like my braids? Come on and braid my hair. Black people, we different. I could scratch my dirty, snotty nuts after busting a nut three days ago and still smell better than you niggas. Coming from where I'm from. You ever sat up there and touched your nuts and be like, Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. you know your nuts stink? But you know your shit still smell better than theirs. Coming from where I'm from. Nigga, we different. Don't play with me. We different. You see Playboy Cardi wearing the thong? Ain't nothing wrong with that. He want to pick on his butt. Huh? Who are we to tell Playboy Cardi that he can't have a pickle on his butt? Who are we? The industry has revealed themselves. The industry has revealed themselves. We know what time it is. I've been to, yo, Wendy Williams was ahead of her time. She told you who these niggas was ages ago. Damn. Y'all doing my live like that? We ain't got, no, we don't pause. You can't pause life. You identify. You look, you identify, you pick, you choose, then you move on. Chamel, come on, my brand. Come on and braid my hair, Campbell. I ain't gonna braid your hair, nigga. I'm gonna I'm 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 get that, I'm gonna get that bat that Negan had, and I'm gonna bust your skull in for playing with me. I'm going to get that bat that Negan had, and I'm going to bust your head. i whoop your head, boy. You know that I win while I whoop your head, boy. With the back of the steel, while I whoop your head, boy. When I catch you, I'm going to M.O.P. slap the shit out you for playing with me. Now, back to the video. <laughs> Shout out to that bitch-ass nigga. YouTube, YouTube, this is just comedy. Shout out to that bitch ass nigga that wanted me to braid his hair. What you wanted me to braid your hair and, and box you in your butt while I was braiding your hair, nigga? You told the whole internet that I braided your hair, so what did you want me to box you in your butt too? You wanted a pickle? You like sausages? Did you want my meat while I braided your hair? Inquiring minds want to know. Did you want mayonnaise while you wanted me braiding your hair? This nigga told the whole internet that I braided his hair. Did you want my pickle on your back while I braided your hair? Come on and braid my hair. Inquiring minds want to know. I mean, disrespect earns disrespect. So if my wife don't decide to give me something tonight because I'm ranting on the internet and I just want to squeeze some jism out tonight, are you willing to catch it? As I braid your hair, you bitch ass nigga. Come on and braid my hair. Stop playing with me, man. Pause. You only pause when you don't want to bust a nut. That pause shit is for these industry niggas acting like they ain't go through the door and they didn't play with these RuPaul ass niggas. Like, let's cut it out. We already know. There is no... How little Kim said... No time for fake ones. There's no time for fake ones. Everybody in the industry is screaming, it wasn't me. I heard you call me in the shower. It wasn't, no, it was you, my nigga. It was you. The industry is dirty. The industry is dirty. Everything about black culture Black celebrities is gross. You got to pause the whole shit. Because you got to keep in mind, right? We grew up in the hood where niggas is selling crack to each other's mothers. When you say pause, you don't say pause to that? A nigga turn a nigga, a, a nigga, yo, 
And the, the hood is so foul that a nigga will wait for a real nigga to go to jail and turn his sister into a goddamn dust egg. Niggas are line a real nigga sister up. He in jail. Hitting weights. Stabbing and cutting niggas. And in the streets, his mans will roll up a dust blunt. And turn your little sister into a dust egg. Then give us some dust pills. Now she's sitting up there taking pills and she don't even know it. Drinking Hennessy with some medicine in the bottle and she don't even know it. And she thinking she's sitting next to a real one because her brother was a real one that had a sucker sitting next to him. And by the time he come home to, from jail to get revenge, he done did 20 years in the pen. His man that he left out there to protect his little sister turned her into a dust egg. Yo, it's crazy because I sit back and I analyze. And I see the niggas on the internet. Bronx River, what up? Matter of fact, with me saying that, rest in peace the baby girl that passed away in Bronx River. Tibby, my love is out to you. Akeem, my love is out to you. And to the whole family, 1609, my love is out to y'all. Shout out to Akeem. I see your, your, your niece passed away. Shout out to Timmy. Shout out to Ad Antoine. Shout out to the whole family. Wrong River, regardless of what we've been through, we all we got. We fight. But at the end of the day, it's like when you go to jail with me and Papo. Me and Papo was enemies in the streets. But when we got to Rikers Island, it was Hassan Campbell. They wasn't even calling me that. It was Poppy, it was Papo, and it was Trouble. And we turned that bitch upside down. Regardless of what niggas got to say about us, when we got behind that wall, we got busy together. And we living in days and times where we all we got. We ain't got nothing else. The only thing that the world got to offer us is poverty and pain. It's but so much. Real niggas gonna let fake niggas supersede us. It's but so much. But then again, it, de it depends on who you are. Because when y'all question her song Campbell, when y'all sit up there talking about don't mess with him, you know how many people trying to convince people not to rock with me? And half these niggas is working for the Matrix? they Agent Smiths? How you gonna tell a nigga not to rock with a nigga? That's the realest nigga on this earth. Nigga, I take care, like, I take care of my family. I take care of my friends. AB21, rest in peace to Ock and Tibby Niece. Bronx River Watson Connection, salute, Haas. AB, shout out to my boy AB. Shout out to, shout out to Bobcat. Shout out to Bobcat. You know the dude that went into the precinct and started airing out the precinct? Not that I justify that. But I understood his pain and why he did that. I understood why he did that, police officers. Y'all abused that man. Y'all traumatized him and he gave y'all back what y'all gave him. Y'all should have gave him a program. And not the rest of his life in jail. Shut up the Bobcat. Look what the hood is doing to us. And then they disrespectful with it. The hood will sit up there and take. Yo, the hood will sit up there and take. Our most problematic children. And make them celebrities. Meanwhile. I'm looking for you for something for y'all right real quick. And it's like. <sighs> Let me see something.
Damn, why well, can't find this nigga's page? All right. And then I can't even find that shit. I got some shit that I wanted to show y'all. All right, let me see. And this is not even the one, but I could go with this one. It's not even the one I was going with. Y'all watching? Y'all looking? This is not even the, the one, but this is good enough. How old is NBA young boy? Young boy never broke again is 24 years old. NBA NBA young boy is 24 years old. You know what? I'm gonna play a song for y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna compromise. But y'all better hit my hit my super chat up. Y'all better start hitting my super chat up tonight. Because they're not going to pay me for this live. And I don't even want to be paid for this live. I want to play a song from Big. Y'all ready? Yeah. 
death knocking at my front door. I'm living every day like a hustle, another drug to juggle, another day, another struggle. I don't wanna live no more. Sometimes I hear death knocking at my front door. I'm living every day like a hustle, another drug to juggle, another day, another struggle. I had the master plan. I'm in the caravan on my way to Maryland with my man Two Text to take over this project. They called him Two Text. We told Two Text, and when he stopped the bus, he liked to ask Two Text. I got my honey on the Amtrak with the crack in the crack of my ass. Two pounds of hash in the stash. I wait for honey to make some quick cash. I told the secret to Lieutenant Dick Scott. Another day, another struggle. I don't want to live no more. Sometimes I hear death knocking at my front door. I'm living every day like a hustle. Another drug to juggle. Another day, another struggle. You see this? What they don't teach you about this? It's like you dead and you still buried alive. Nigga dead, but he's still living. Love Biggie. Can I sing this with a smile? Do you see what they put us through? And then we got to sit up there in front like everything is good? Everything ain't good in the hood. This is what the hood do to us. Fathers ain't being fathers. Mothers ain't being mothers. The nigga got millions and he hurting. Oh, shit. He got millions and he's hurting? I ain't got millions, but I made some millions. And I was hurting when I got shot in Bronx River. Niggas told y'all not to fuck with me. But you fucking with the industry? Niggas told y'all not to fuck with me. But you fucking with the industry? This is what the industry does to you.
When the industry is done with you, this is what it does to you. Images of Whitney Houston on crack. When you're done with the industry, this is what the industry does to you. But y'all chasing the industry? And everybody telling y'all not to rock with her song Campbell. But y'all chasing the industry. This is what the industry does to you. Share this goddamn video. Hit the like button. This is what the industry does to you. Images of Chris Brown on drugs. This is what the industry does to you. We love Chris. I love you, Chris Brown. But you can't get your soul back after you done gave it to them devils. Huh? See how they got him? See how they do you? Ain't none of us going to come out of this shit looking like a hero. Images of Bobby Brown on drugs. Is this the photo of Whitney and Bobby after the preacher kidnapped them? The drug kingpin from Harlem? Niggas don't be happy in the industry. The music industry don't make you happy. And everybody that's watching me, man, make sure y'all subscribe to Snotbox TV on YouTube. Make sure y'all following me on Patreon.com, Hassan Campbell. Make sure y'all following me on Rumble. Y'all see what they doing to me. I'm the best of the best. NBA young boy interview with Gillian Wallow. A million dollars every game. We love all our supporters out there for rocking with us for so many years. We got everything going on wherever you like. Gillian Sports. We don't want to hear that. Nope. Let's get to the straight interview. Oh, y'all re-edited this shit? Okay. Hey, young boy. Yeah. What's up? Yes. It's going down, baby. <clears throat> Spice. He ain't can't do no shows as they done. It's over with for him. People don't just want to hear your music. They want to see you. They want to feel you. But you they want to smell you. They want to they wanna, they wanna feel like... Ah. And you can't even give them that, and you still here. And you still stay creative. <laughs> you know, what is your creative process? And how do you keep the energy to keep going and keep getting in the studio? Man, I know, like, I never had a fast shot. Like, they ain't never marketing me like this. Until this day, to them, I seen uncivilized. And then from what they see, that shit got them blind. Yeah. Yeah. But then again, I gotta put the blame on me, you know. When you say put the blame... Yep, took them down because of the negative influence. They took it down because the, 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 yo, that interview was disgusting. Images of Kodak Black on drugs. They got me feeling like I'm academic.
Images of Hassan Campbell drunk in the projects. Oh, look. I stab your ass to death. Bitch ass nigga. Come outside and throw that body. Come outside and throw that body. If I see that body come out through. The YouTuber Hassan Campbell, also known as one of the worst fitted buyers in the country, shot. After trolling and having a drunken rant outside of his projects. Hassan Campbell, mostly known for some of his crazy drunken rants, who violated Gilly the Kid directly after the passing of his son, rest in peace, Cheese. And Hassan felt that this was a time to double down on his clout chasing activities and he thought this was a perfect time to call out gilly and and really hold up you bitch ass nigga with your dirty mother your section eight mother your welfare mother your project mother the nasty bitch and you still up in the same shit oh that's why niggas don't like me because my mother grew, she raised me on welfare and the projects the pissy hallways but I got my kids up out of there. That's why you niggas don't like me. Oh, that's why you niggas don't like me. Cause when I got the bread, when I got the bag, I got my kids up out of the hood and still shot the hood up. When you niggas got the bag, y'all stayed there. Like y'all like, like, like sleeping and pissing shit in the elevator. Oh, that's why you don't like me? Oh, what they think they like me? Oh, I think, oh, what they got, oh, I think they like, no, y'all don't like me. Because y'all niggas is 40 and 50 and 60 years old and y'all still in the projects and it's still tenement there. Nigga, and I'm I'm sitting up there. Nigga, I'm in the house doing a live and I got a fire pit still burning in my yard. Huh? Ooh. Is it real, son? Is it really real, son? Let me know what's real, son, if it's really real. You versus me? Hold up. I gotta talk about it. I gotta be about it. Nigga, I'm in the fucking house. I ain't even bringing my glass. Burning wood. I got I got wood burning outside. Like y'all niggas is dumb. Is you dumb? Yeah, let me grab a piece of wood. Look, look, look. Yeah, for that blackout. We getting we getting ready to go into darkness. How you gonna cook your goddamn food with no goddamn lights? If the power's out, right? Look. How do I watch? All right, let me switch it. Tell me how you going with no air. My shit just, I just like, I, I ain't got nothing better to do. No air, no air. Tell me how you gonna breathe with no air. Nigga, that shit hot. What the fuck with these niggas talking about? They still pissing in the, pro the project hallways. I'm burning wood. Let's go get some more wood. Fuck all that. Doomsday come, nigga. I gotta cook my food, right? Shit got a grill, right? Grab some wood. They don't teach us this in the goddamn hood. Snapbox TV on YouTube, man. Look at that. We're gonna burn some wood. Some more wood. We're gonna let that shit burn like P. Diddy and Usher. You should let it burn. Oh, shit. Come on. Yeah, I got whips. We ain't gonna show the whole whips. I got whips in the. I got whips. We got whips. Look. Look. We're going to dedicate this to Puffy and Usher. Let it burn. Ah! Hit the like button, nigga. You should let it burn. When the feeling is, and feeling your body, you want to. You know, you got to let it go. 
ain't bumping like I used to. Let it burn. Niggas ain't like me. You got shot and ran to the cops. You're not like me. It's hot and you ain't got work on the block. You're not like me. <laughs> You're not like me. Niggas is not like me. They're not like me. Nigga, I come from Bronx River. Look what the nigga. Nigga, I turned the project elevator. Yeah, the project elevator. Look what I did. Look. You niggas is not like me. We different. Oh, we different. And y'all know in the springtime, my shit look different. We look different out here. I'm only going to give y'all a little bit, though. I'm only going to get... Look, 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 look. Look at my walkway. Nigga, look at that Miami walkway. Look at the walkway. Nigga, I got lights. The lights, come on. When you walk through the yard... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Look, 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 look. 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 Boom, look, look, look. Look at that Michael Jackson walkway. Stop playing with me, man. See, it's dark. I got to put my lights on. I ain't got the lights set up. But look, look. Stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with me, man. So disrespectful. So, so, so disrespectful. Like, stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with me. These rap, all these niggas talking shit about me is bums. All these niggas talking shit about me is bums. I'm in the hood because I'm hood. These niggas in the hood because they ain't got no choice. I went to jail for multiple bodies. Turn the TVs off. The paperwork is there. They can't dispute that. These niggas went to jail for selling drugs and want to act like they the nigga. Nigga, y'all niggas can't fuck with me. We different. Who run it? You know, but you acting like you don't know. But I'm a little bit different, right? I got a little bit of different shit in my blood. I ain't the locks of MOP. Y'all ready? I'm not the locks. I'm MOP. Yeah. Check it out, y'all. Fighting with Swamp Nigga. MOP. Yeah. Fighting with Swamp Nigga. Check it out. The name's Bill. What up, Bill? I'm a semi-automatic addict for real. Before you test me, no, I feel that the impact of a gift when you hit it back is sexy. I put you motherfuckers back on a real tip and get the split in the nigga shit. And that change. I take you motherfuckers back to 86 and get the dubbing on the clip. You wanna test me? Wait your turn, B. It's a long line of niggas that's ready to burn me. I put my foot down firmly. Most of my gun is some shit that don't concern me. And most dudes don't like the way I rap. Jack, the brown shit jack with the hundred percent steps. Jack, broke your whips. Retreat. No, I will never be disconnected from these streets. It's deep as the ocean in my potion. It's the no-win. Fuck around and find out that you're the wrong nigga. Fuck around and find out that you're the wrong nigga. Fuck around and find out that you're the wrong nigga. Fuck around and find out that you're the wrong nigga. Fuck around and find out that you're the wrong nigga. Fuck around and find out that you're the wrong nigga. Fuck around and find out that you're the wrong nigga. Fuck around and find out that you're the wrong nigga. In other words, breaking the rules. Stop that. We make ghetto music. Cop that. When they drop it, it's proper. Cop that. Cause some cats be faking uh -oh. the move. In other words, breaking the rules. Make play, bitch. I'm coming, coming through. I'm busy walking on. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, I'm niggas. Listen, listen in to that false information. 
What? Nigga. If you get shot in front of the cops, you're not like me. It's hot and you ain't got work on the block. You're not like me. Nigga, I'm the nigga that went outside in the projects. Told the shooters to come outside. Didn't realize I was so drunk, I ain't had my blicky on me. A nigga got shot and went back outside, and I'm back outside, but you ain't gonna see those videos. Fuck you think this is? We different. We different. This shit was so real with me, they called it fake. I'll be listening to I can't listen to the music I want to listen to I can't listen to the music I want to listen to because that shit ter it takes me back and turn me into a psychopath I know and then we got the niggas that put the clown emojis in your comment section while they sucking your dick how you drink my cum and then put a clown emoji in my comment section. When you swallow with me. Like you the you front rolling center. Sucking me off. But you got a clown emoji in my comment section. How, like how you do that? How you explain that? When you sitting up there saying that this is the realest shit. The realest shit ever, ever, ever. Make sure y'all follow me on Snapbox TV. Because I'm not posting on this big page no more. Because when I go live, they figure out a way to adjust my lives to where that after 30 minutes, they don't want me to have a certain amount of views. So they slow my shit down. And they're doing it through the lives. I'm not posting on this page no more. See, I can eat a dick. Eat a dick up till you hiccup, up because my followers is going to follow me. And the reality of it is, the window of opportunity is closing on black YouTube. Niggas is getting treated like prostitutes. I'm good. I know I'm going out like the best of the best. This is their platform. They can play with the numbers. My problem is I should have created my own platform while I was letting them figure fuck me. The fuck you going? How you going to expect Christopher Columbus to be fucking um, the colonizer to be loyal to you? When niggas then sat up there and gave you blankets with smallpox and now they using you for your talent. How you expect them to be loyal to you? They not loyal to nobody. They deadly. These niggas are smallpox. Never forget these motherfuckers is the same motherfuckers that killed J-E-S-U-S This 
shit too easy for me. That you're a musician. So that's why I'm interviewing you today, so I can get to know you. So I'm a musician. Mm-hmm. What the fuck that mean? Make magic or something? Who is musician? I think, that's, <laughs> I think you're confusing a lot. Yeah, I'm not no musician. Yeah, I, I make music. I make I, music. I, and that's not all I do. I make music. I act. I'm a TV star, too. A young mom. Uh-huh. I, just really quick, I think you're confusing. I'm not confusing nothing because I, you, you don't know. I, you thought that all I was was a magician or whatever the fuck you said. See, that's what I think you think I said. No, I said musician. I think, not what, magician. I don't think, baby. But, I don't think. What is that? That's ghetto. I don't think. I know. The bitch said, I don't think I know. No, we don't always know, so we fucking think. That's why I'm interviewing you today, so I can get to know you. So I'm a musician. Mm-hmm. What the fuck that mean? Make magic or something? What is musician? I think that's, I think you're confusing a lot. Yeah, I'm not no musician. Yeah, I, I make music. I make I, music. I, and that's not all I do. I make music. I act. I'm a TV star, too. A young mom. Uh-huh. I, just really quick, I think you're confusing. I'm not confusing nothing because I, you, you don't know. I, you thought that all I was was a magician or whatever the fuck you said. See, that's what I think you think I said. No, I said musician, I think, not what magician. I don't think, baby, but, I don't think. What I, is that? That's ghetto. I don't think. I know. So you, so you think. The dumb bitch said, it's ghetto to think. She knows. And I think you are a musician. No, baby, I do music. So you, just really, just really quick, for the record, could you say you don't think you're a musician? Not none of that. But then after that, you just said, I do music. Yeah, I do music. So, in other words, you're a musician. No, I'm not. Okay. Wow. It's just amazing how... They figured out a way to take our most broken and ignorant children and make them rich so the most knowledgeable, the people with the most wisdom, the people with the most strength, the real leaders in the community look weak to these dirty, rotten fucking scoundrels. They take the most ratchet, nasty hood booger and make her better than your grandmother because she got money. Because most of our grandmothers was poor. But this little dusty bitch right here, this super hood booger right here, she ain't even worth playing no more. Next. Kevin Hart. Now, you know when Cat Williams said gatekeepers? Yeah. Kevin Hart, mm-hmm. I do his um, podcast. Yes. And I want y'all to re-listen to the podcast so you can hear it for yourself. When he first comes on, he says, you're like my mother, you're like my aunt, you're like my sister. Okay? Mm-hmm. Then we do the podcast. We speak about the Tyler Perry situation. Oprah Winfrey, he said, I don't really know Oprah, but I'm going to reach out to Tyler. Appreciate that. Kevin kept his word. He reached out to Tyler Perry. Kevin Hart called me back about maybe a week or so later. He said, Mo, I talked to Tyler. He said he don't want to revisit it. He said, but I tell you what, let's move past that, Mo. Let's just move past that and let's just do great things. So whatever. That's what Kevin said. I want you to hear me, Kevin Hart. 
Let's move past that, Mo. Let's do some great things together. Don't even worry about it. Whatever y'all want to do, I will partner with you. I'll executive produce with you. You just let me know what you want to do. Now, let me say that before we go any further, because I want to make sure I give Kevin Hart his proper credit. When my family was up against the wall, Kevin Hart wrote us a check and said, here you go. We're forever grateful for that. When we were able to give it back, we said, brother, we appreciate you with some interest on top because I don't ever want nobody to think. Really me and my husband. Yeah, yeah. So I want to make sure I put that out there. That, was, that brother really helped us out when we needed to be helped out. Then when he came back with, I got you. I didn't ask Kevin Hart to do anything. He said, I'll executive produce. I'll partner with you. I said, good shit, Kevin, because we're in a deal with Endemol and we're trying to get our talk show back. Mo, whatever it is, I got you. Now, Kevin Hart is one of the biggest entertainers right now in the world, right? right? And was then. We got off the phone with Kevin Hart. We called in the mall immediately and said, Kevin Hart said, whatever we want to do, he got us. He's going to partner, executive use. They was like, oh, this is incredible because when you put Kevin Hart's name on it, you already know what it is. Correct. Two weeks go by. We get a call from in the mall. In the mall says, we just got a call from Kevin Hart's manager, Dave Becky. And Dave Becky said, Kevin doesn't want anything to do with Monique. So whatever she told y'all, he doesn't want to do anything with her. What the, why stop? Uh, nothing. You know, he doesn't want any, any kind of relationship with Monique. So what changed between the two weeks and when, and, and plus he gave you a check, you gave the money back, then said he would partner with you, executive produce, whatever you need, Mo, hey, we got you. So what transpired or what do you think transpired between then that two that two week period? Well, as soon as we got off the phone and they told us what Kevin manager David Becky said, I called Kevin Hart immediately. I said, Hey baby, we just got off the phone with Ender Mall and they said Dave Becky called them up and said, You don't want anything to do with me. He said, Mo, that's that's a miscommunication. I can tell you right now. I said, wait a minute. Are you okay though with this white man calling them up? Getting in between our relationship at something you said, he said, Mo, I'm, that's a miscommunication and we're going to talk Tuesday. Don't worry about it. I, I'm telling you right now, it's a miscommunication. That was two years ago. If you talk to him, I talk to him. I've never talked back to Kevin Hart again. So that's what we're faced with. When you allow somebody to come in between a relationship with a woman that you said, I'm like your mother. You said, I'm like these things. I didn't ask you for that. So everything that that baby was saying, sitting here, everything he was saying was on the up and up. Because when you hear people say, get the anger out your heart. Oh, man, no one's saying he's lying. No one ever said I was lying. It's so easy to discount and devalue because of what we look like. Right. When we have our juggernauts, Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry, Steve Harvey, the Kevin Hart, these are our juggernauts of our community. These are the people that our babies say, when I grow up, I want to be that. Yes. I want to be like that. So we have to call those people to the mat and say, listen, what are you teaching our babies? You're feeding poison because you're showing them your private jet. I'm going to show you my mansion. I'm going to show you my fancy cars. But my character is shot and I'm bankrupt. I got a lot of money in my bank. I have more zeros than some of them can, than we can imagine. But their character, they are bankrupt. Those are bankrupt people. So everybody that cat sat right here and told you about, I can't wait to see your next interviews with those people. They ain't coming on now, Mo. Invite them. I have. They're not going to do it. Well, look, I've already done Steve. I have a relationship with Steve. He's do him again. Do him again. And I'm going to say this. I'm trying to get Oprah and, uh, and Tyler, though. Baby, we got him. Y'all, come on. Stop playing. They ain't coming on, Mo. Thanks to you. You know how. And I don't want to put you on a spot, but I'm going to say it. <laughs> I appreciate you as a black man and what you're doing. Thank you. If you are my friend mm -hmm. and someone says to me, Monique Shannon shot wrong me. And you my friend? Yeah. I'm gonna call my friend. You can come to me. And I'm gonna say, hey, is what they saying true? And if you get to him and Han, I'm gonna tell you, till you fix it, you and I can't talk. Because if you'll do them that way. You do it'll be a matter of time before you do it to me so if steve harvey is your friend mm -hmm. you call your friend up and you ask him is what our sister saying right man because if it is 
We can't do that to her. If that's Damn. So they figured out a way to make slaves fight slaves while we going through the apocalypse. They don't want y'all to mentally prepare on how to survive doomsday. Remember, they built their bunkers while you stuck in the projects. They told you the people in the cave stank. Remember that? Remember when the conscious community told you that the people in the caves stank and they had to teach them to wash up. But when you go in the caves of today, you see that they got water, filtration systems. They, they could grow food in the center of the earth. Everything that they taught you was... Everything that they taught you was a lie. The technology that you have today, this shit right here. Are you listening to me? You real niggas and bad bitches. Are you listening to me? Everything that they fucking taught you, every, 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 every fucking thing that they taught you was a lie. They keep improving these cell phones every year. These cell phones was here from the beginning, the beginning, the beginning, the beginning, the fucking beginning of time. Time is on my side. Yes, it is. Do you watch the movies? Denzel Washington. Time is on my side. Yes, it is. Did you watch the movie with Denzel Fallen when he was running from the gym? Even though my hobbies was jumping from bodies to bodies, the gins jumped from bodies to bodies. He had to take them to the woods to run from the gin. Fuck our robot. That's different. We talking about spiritual warfare. When Denzel was running from the gin, which they teach you is the aliens, which is the shapeshifters. Are you not listening to, are you not entertained? Is this not why you here? You're absolutely sitting up here listening to a nigga that's absolutely drunk and so angry that I gotta be the fucking original Charleston White and do dumb shit for you to listen to me, this shit right here? Hold up, watch this. While I sit up here and drink the devil's piss, right? And pray that I'm sobered up to make my Farja prayer. And giving those four rockots, those two sunas and those two rockots. Audubillahi mina shaitani rajim. Bismillah rahman rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Rahman rahim. And still got to go back to the hellfire. To pull my people out because you niggas are so ignorant. Jesus ain't go to the rich. He went to the poor. Jesus ain't go to the rich. He went to the poor. When I got shot, I went back to the hood. Where all the rape was going on. The child molestation was going on. Trying to stay, trying to say, trying to save you. From being real niggas and bad bitches. You want to be real niggas and bad bitches? Fuck these rappers. The world don't need another rapper. Look at these rappers. I'm going to hit him in the head with the headshot. You're going to hit him in the headshot. Well, then, when, then what you going to do? When the police come kicking your door, what you going to do? I'm going to hit him in the head with the headshot. What you going to do after that? 
When the police, bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Not when shot The fuck is you talking about? Y'all ain't never seen a nigga like me on the internet. Charleston White bit my style. Faggot nigga bit my dick. Hold that. He ain't just bite my style. The nigga bit my dick. That nigga took the best moments of Hassan Campbell being drunk and he ran with that shit. With his federal informant. That, man, listen, man. Y'all know. Stop with that Paul shit in my fucking comment section. Get your stink ass, dirty ass Paul's asses out of here. We don't pause. Every time y'all say pause, all I see is a gay nigga sucking a gay nigga dick talking about pause so you could drink all of it. Fuck out of my comment section with that. Talking about pause. You pause, nigga. What you wanna catch the, you wanna capture the moment? Grande. Fuck out of here. We don't pause. We mean what we say. Real niggas don't pause. That's that fake ass Cameron and May shit acting like they don't like come on man. The rumors that come with the industry niggas. You don't see like yeah, like yo, let's stop pretending with these industry niggas. You seen Jim Jones put on a purple blouse. Whoop whoop. Purple rain. Purple. Stop fucking playing. Stop. All right. Images of Jim Jones in a purple blouse. Y'all let him get away with it. Hello? This is the same nigga that got locked up. Rapper Jim Jones in the hot drug speed trace in the South. Rapper Jim Jones in the drug speed tracing in South. Rapper Jim Jones arrested in the South for drugs and guns. Rapper Jim Jones arrested in the South. No, I don't I don't like these niggas. Let me stop that right now. There we go. Learning new details tonight about the arrest of rapper Jim Jones in Coweta County this week. Deputies say Jones was a passenger in a car that led police on a brief chase Wednesday night. And when deputies stopped the car, they say they found drugs inside. Fox 5's Doug Evans has a story from Coweta County where he spoke with the deputy who made that stop. <laughs> It was late Wednesday night, just before midnight, when a Coweta County deputy says he saw a Mercedes SUV swerving on the highway on Interstate 85. He says the car was driven by 23-year-old Anna Miles. In the back seat was rapper Jim Jones, who's 41 years old, and his real name is Joseph Jones. The deputy says when he pulled behind the car on the interstate, quote, he noticed the smell of marijuana. He told me by telephone it was so strong he smelled it before he even noticed the car weaving down the road. And when he pulled alongside it, he says front seat passenger Darnell Wright turned on the interior dome light. And the deputy says he couldn't see anyone inside because, quote, the entire vehicle appeared to be filled with smoke. The deputy says when the car went from the far left lane to get off the highway at exit 35 at Grantville without signaling, he turned on his blue lights and tried to pull it over. But the car, he says, ran a stop sign and refused to stop. And in trying to pull in front of the SUV, he says Miles accelerated intentionally striking my vehicle. He says all four inside were eventually taken into custody. Rapper Jim Jones, Darnell Wright, Jamal Smith, and Anna Miles. Deputies say all four are being charged with drug possession. The men are being charged with possession of a firearm and the commission of a crime. Deputies say they found a stolen handgun in the backseat where they say Jones and Jamal Smith were sitting. The driver, Anna Miles, she faces a charge of fleeing from police and aggravated assault. Three of the four are still in jail right now. 
Rapper Jim Jones is the only one who's bonded out. Live in Coweta County, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News. Doug, thanks. Someone said Shannon Sharp don't mess with black women. My grandmother told well, you. you niggas talk shit about me, remember, I'm the nigga that academics, Takashi 6 9 Wack 100 came and got. And ever since them niggas touched my platform, they've been destroying my shit. I've been fighting to keep my shit afloat. I've been the liveest nigga on the internet until them agents came and touched my shit. Because they scared. And they sitting up here watching me too. Like, all right, we're going to make them die down. Every time I go live, my views get lower and lower on my YouTube page. I'm not even posting on this big page no more. I realize the power that I have. They keep taking subscribers off my big page off of YouTube. And they keep taking... And fuck IG. Whoever works IG. You. Whoever controls Instagram. You can eat a whole hard dick. If you delete the whole Instagram. I don't give a fuck about you. Fuck you. And your Instagram. You can eat a grande. A big dick Instagram. Instagram, you can eat a big dick. The big dick? Delete my shit. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. Because I see what y'all doing to my numbers. Every two days, they take 200 people off of my Instagram to keep me from passing a certain number. Nigga, Instagram can eat a big, a big, grande dick. Stop being loyal to these platforms that's not loyal to you. You'll make a million dollars and them niggas are giving you $200. I see what the fuck they doing. The rap game is bullshit. These rappers and actors is bullshit. What you see and what you worshiping is bullshit. But it's your choice. You gonna take that red pill or you gonna take that blue pill? It's for you to decide. Yes, and tell IG that IG can hold my nuts. Fuck, I, fuck Instagram. Y'all could hold. Y'all could take the whole Instagram page and eat a dick. And I'm cool with it. Matter of fact, to this pattern involved multiple thieves on mopeds, snatching cell phones and purses from their victims. These thieves would ride up behind their victims on the sidewalk, steal their property, and then make their getaway. The majority of the victims are women, simply just walking alone. We have seen that the mopeds used in these crimes are also stolen as well. The first incident of this pattern occurred on the Upper East Side of Manhattan back in November of 2023, and the most recent hit was last night in Lower Manhattan in Chinatown. There are a total of 62 incidents that have been connected to this pattern so far, touching every borough in New York City except Staten Island, with almost 56% of these crimes taking place in Manhattan. During our investigation, we learned that these perpetrators a part of a sophisticated criminal enterprise made up of mi migrants who have recently arrived in the United States. This network of these predominantly live in the migrant, sh uh, migrant shelter system. They use social media platforms to organize and coordinate their thefts. This is how they operate. The leader of the crew, identified as Victor Para, will blast out a message via WhatsApp that he is looking for phones. Power will send out specific orders for what type of phone he is looking for. And then the text will say, I have money, I'm available, go get them. Once the messages are received, the crime wave begins. Oh, shit. Come to this pattern. Yeah, I seen the video. I ain't got to keep playing that shit. It is what it is. The nigga said Jim looked better as a woman. Here's the reality, you know, right? The reality. 
all these niggas that you worship in the music industry got a case on them. I love the locks. Me and Styles P had a classic beef on the internet because they taught us that They was D-Block. And they wouldn't affiliate with rats. But Jadakiss, Styles P, and She Kloosh, I loved them, was on the stage performing with Freaky Ziki. Freaky Ziki testified in the case that he got shot in. Got niggas 30 years in jail for robbing and shooting him and he testified because he had a rape case. Rape case. Academics is innocent into proven guilty. But the district att attorney gave that bitch ass nigga mercy because he's testifying in a robbery case that happened in his house. So they was willing to let the rape case go with that faggot ass nigga. Allegedly. Y'all don't see how the game works? Big Meech had a female running around, allegedly, setting up murder cases and drug dealers so that she could be the rat and she could get him a less time cut because he was supposed to do life. K Slay, am I cooking for you niggas yet? K Slay got locked up for bootlegging. And when he got locked up, he sent some dudes up north for homicide cases. And when they came home, K Slay got them murdered. K Slay is a rat. And y'all promoting this nigga like he the realest nigga on the internet. He got niggas that say he sent them niggas to jail for life. And they end up coming them home. And when they came home, he murdered them. And Pat Poos, Pat Poos. Is promoting this nigga. Like he's the realest nigga ever. When he's a fucking Rat. K Slay is a fucking rat. He got locked up. He told on a murder case. Got two niggas locked up. When they came home, he got them niggas murdered. Because he worked for that radio station and he had money. He's a rat. How far y'all want me to go, how deep y'all want me to go into these waters while y'all sitting up there acting like y'all fake mad at Takashi 6 9 Are you not entertained? Is this not why you here? These niggas is weak. But they want to convince you not to fuck with me. Everything that I've ever been charged with, that I've went to jail with, is murder and attempted murder cases. I've been to jail for multiple murder cases, but these niggas want to convince y'all niggas that they more realer than me. And because I got so drunk all night, I was drinking from morning to nighttime, and I went to Bronx River flipping out without my fucking toast. And I got cooked. <laughs> Nigga popped me like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, I ran it, but my shit was so real that nigga said it was fucking fake. Remember Mano, that live Brooklyn nigga that was cutting everybody in jail? He left his shoes in the club. Nigga, when I got shot, I said, yo, Jew, I'm hit. Nigga, Jew kept telling me the whole time to the hospital, you're bugging, you're not hit. Because he ain't see the blood until I got out of the car. Nigga, we different. 
Y'all niggas sitting up there co trying to convince the niggas around me, oh, they shouldn't fuck with me. Like, how? I could break down so many real niggas and so many real conversations, I don't even have to say names. Let's take it back to Cortland Ave. I don't even have to say names. I remember, I remember, the, I took the whole fucking block. Me and Terrence. Yo, Terrence. Oh, shit. Bronx, yo, Bronx River. Yeah, me and Terrence. We took the whole fucking block. Robbed everybody. Hit him in that. We turned that shit to Cortland Ave. My nigga is on his way home. Terrence, what up? My nigga, my right here, like, five guard. Remember when I told you that I was sitting in the house? I ain't want to come outside because I was waiting for my brothers. My brother T-Mac came home. And y'all see the energy. And y'all started attacking him like the Matrix. Niggas seen how strong I was looking when my brother T-Mac came home. And y'all started attacking like the Matrix. Y'all saw it. It's crazy because even with five guard faggot ass, you know, he switched sides on me. And then he seen them sound view niggas. Swelly, get away from him, Swelly. Swelly, get away from him. So you you wanted my dick all to yourself? And then after you sucked my dick five guard, you didn't want nobody else to suck it? The fuck out of here. That's what it was? So after you put my dick all the way in your mouth, you didn't want nobody else to get none of that jism, nigga? Swelly, Swelly, Swelly. Get away from them. Let me tell y'all something, niggas. Right on some real shit. I don't respect no nigga that changes his set at 40 years old. I grew up in Bronx River. The realest of the realest, motherfucker. My legacy, I'm the last of a dying breed in Bronx River. Bronx River. When niggas was real. You don't get 35 and 40 years old and switch your set. If you fall out with your set, you don't have a set no fucking more unless you create a new one. You don't go from being this set to that set. Well, I got to say it again or put this shit in subtitles or something. You don't go from being this set to that set. Who the fuck does that? You 35 and 40 years old switching sets? Ew? And it's not your set? You're not the leader of the set? Pistol Pete went to jail at 21, 22 years old. He was a baby when he created Sex Money Murder. You niggas is 40 years old. 35, 40 years old switching sets. And joining a set of a nigga that was 20 when he created his set. Nigga, you a, you a faggot. This is New York we talking about. Hold up, let me hit the screen. This is New York. You niggas is 40 years old. Switching sets. 35, 40 years old. Who does that? California niggas ride for they set from the beginning of their life to the end of their life. But you a New York nigga. I'm trying to fix this. What I do wrong? Okay, fuck it. You a New York nigga. You switched sets? Smiley, you, 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 so you went from being Jet to Trendy? Five God, you went from being Jet to Trendy at 35, 40 years old? Who sent you? Hello? Are you CIA? DEA? Or FBI? Who sent you? 
and you came into my life when you knew all the niggas that was surrounded by Matt was getting ready to come home to cause controversy and tell lies. Right. 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 Ain't no love for the other side. Black lives matter. When? How? Y'all sit up there and play military mind games with the real niggas all over Chicago and all over Black America. I tell you, you can't come to my hood. I want you to write thirty-two hundred in the um comment section. They tried this. Is it so bad not to get us here? Write thirty-two hundred. We had thirty-two hundred people in the building. Then when this live closes out, I want y'all to see. Now it's back to thirty-one hundred. This is where they fuck up at. So now we at 3,100. Write it in the comment section. When this live ends, because we're going to sue YouTube for the games that they playing. Playing with my numbers. Watch how many numbers they give me when this live ends. And I'm not going for three hours tonight. Like, fuck that. I got things to do tomorrow. Die, die, Pop off, what up? Die, 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 die. I'm turning niggas in the looters, in the looters, in the looters. Now I'm behind the builders, behind the builders, behind the builders. Come outside with the shooters, behind the shooters, behind the shooters. Come outside with the shooters, behind the shooters. We make it harder to maneuver. All my young boys wanna fool you. Come outside with the shooters. Black lives matter. When? How? Y'all sit up there and play military mind games with the real niggas all over Chicago and all over Black America. I tell you, you can't come to my hood. But then, when the bodies start piling up, I sit up there and tell you, oh, it's the police. No, it ain't. Every picture that I got, starting with who up, who up, the, the dudes that shot Pop Smoke, those niggas was black. What? The dudes that shot Nipsey Hussle, those niggas was black. The dudes that murdered Pac and Biggie, those niggas was black. Where the justice at? Black Lives Matter. Where? Where? Jesus. We got a different mentality. Different. 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 Good men turn horses. The haters of Ida was cold. Instead of having these, these young boys out there, you hear that ready to die for their set? Maybe they can live for their children. Hmm? I don't want that to go over your head, so I'm going to say it again. Instead of having these young boys die for their set, why don't you have them live for their children? With no gold chain, blame the cause, just jealous of each other. A lot of these dudes out here being fathers, because if they was, their fathers would be out there stopping their sons from airing the block out. The mothers is raising them to be mentally damaged, so when they get a certain age, she can't control them no more. She created a monster. You turn Blue Mike Mike into a monster. Blue Ray into a monster. Then you let them out the door to terrorize the world. If you grew up like this, then you gotta ride. We done seen so many mamas cry for losing their son to homicide. Your man's died, you ain't trying to slide. Niggas rapping and capping behind my sides. They capping! Niggas rapping and capping behind my sides. They capping! Keep shit. I'm with a pussy off my checklist. These niggas got a death wish. Reckless. We don't need no more drug dealers. What? Pushing coke, crack, dope, mollies, zans, and lean. Nah, Five Guard talking to you right now. To the now. next generation, the next wave. That's when I was the realest nigga, right? We don't need no more drug dealers. We don't need to. That's no when more I was the realest nigga, right? Whip the pot. 
you chock a brick. We don't need those stories. I had to get rid of my friend of me. I had to get rid of my friend of me. Cause niggas can't be no friend of me if they be with my enemy. Hey, with niggas I don't f with. A bunch of niggas that do f shit. I am not with all the f shit. I ain't trying to keep it 100. Everywhere I go, speak highly about the homie. Trust me. And the bitch that's a just crying at my funeral rules. Touch me. They proved to me they really love me. Or could have been because I dug deep. Well, and love is love and they came to see me when I put that drug piece yeah. I'm talking Ricky and Teresa Risa. I'm talking LaShawn and Tanisha Nisha. When me and Nudie back the niggas down, they was holding that pee for us Peace. Couple bad bitches in the Mac 11, you ain't gotta be gotta deep be with deep. us So just for privilege and proud when they walk in the streets with us uh -huh. Damn, a made it, but they wanted us faded wanted us I asked gang banging nigga from New York coming, they gave me the ticket I am about to be the greatest, right. so I'ma be with Dr. Dre's right. I'm looking down from the top at you guys in the back with your haters Look what I've done with my life They say by this age I'll be there to lock up in jail for the rest of my life I don't got a flaws I keep that bullshit out my life I take care of my kids and my crib and my bones and my sister And we stay extra tight I handle my business He's just stuck in the past I be sticking in I'm more focused on the bright future Dwell in the past That's a sign of discontentment But hope just show me resentment They mad and put the ball in a hole And there was no commitment They want to end all the pimping But I do not want to stop pimping I'm just looking up from the top on these that's tempting They want me with Jimmy Hitchman Cause they get wet when I'm pitching I'm looking down from the top at you stupid bitches Look what I've done with my life They say by this age I'll be there to lock up in jail for the rest of my life The rest of my life do y'all hear how many songs the nigga put behind me? But tried to destroy me at the same time? Where's all the fathers at? Ooh. Why these young boys gunning each other down in the street? Where's all the uncles at? Why these young boys is gunning each other down in the street? Where's all the gangsters at? Where's the OGs at? All you dudes that claim all this type of shit, what is the purpose of talking about how much of an OG, how much of a gangster you are when you cannot stop these babies from killing babies? That boy is Benny Hines. Fuck all you to the chatter. Black lives don't matter. Kill each other for the master. There's a bit like Africa Dabba. They eat, get fatter. The rest of the field with disaster. When all those five niggas scatter. Black lives don't matter. Fuck all you to the chatter. Black lives don't matter. Kill each other for the master. There's a bit like Africa Dabba. They eat, Get fatter, the rest of fear was disaster. When all those fly niggas scatter, black lives don't matter. Who blip you or cho? Shit don't matter, the parole. I was gang gang, never gang bang. I was all about the dough. The big homie, he was slow. I was always on the globe. They was jealous of the flow. And your sis messy, fucking all in the bros. Ho, poor shame to the set. They only fan through sex. And fuck them with the big checks. Bitches getting faded, giving neck, then move to the next set. That's why we can't get respect. That's why we live and die in debt. Big homies keep letting shit slide, niggas need shit checked. They say women lie, men lie, but I ain't got no regrets. I ain't never been pressed, nigga press me, nigga get death. You even fucking with my philosophy, all you bangin' with the rest. All that in between, playing both sides, shit, get niggas left. Fuck politics, niggas slithering, act funny, I'm direct. The greed of niggas to be less, and settle for even less. All these niggas sound the same, and do the same thing, they a mess. Fuck all you chitter chatter, black lives don't matter. Kill each other for the master, disappear like Africa Dabba, they eat, get fatter. Frustrated, I'm just feeling like a castrated when I'm chasing people. Man, shooters on a black man in a MAGA hat, so it's in the paper. Black hatred, I don't trust you niggas, cause my own kind trying to zone a nigga. Black lives don't matter to me, cause my same brother trying to earth a nigga. Why, nigga? Same struggle that you have, I'm trying to survive, nigga. Please go and use a mind, nigga. Don't be die, nigga. Why you moving like you're suicidal or being controlled by a fucking white? I will move on a fucking right, but I'd rather die than stand beside you. Enslaved, niggas killing just to get paid with a court state. Enslaved, Gucci and Louis Vuitton, but never got rent paid. What a joke, what the world say. Collapse like the world trade, catch a case off of cocaine, we contribute to the jail trade. We was never given mercy, black lives never matter to them. They don't want to see survival from us, so I want to put hollows to them. Who am I? Black lives, if I die, then it's no crime. Who are y'all? Black lives, same niggas kill their own kind. Fuck all your chitter chatter, black lives don't matter. Kill each other for the master, disappear like Africa Dabba, they eat, get fatter. The rest of fear was disaster, when all those five niggas scatter. Black lives don't matter, fuck all your chitter chatter, black lives don't matter. Kill each other for the master. Disappear like Africa Dabba. Shoot, shimmy, shoot, shimmy, shoot, 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 sho
the pudding. I put the gun. No. <laughs> Stop the music. That's all right. Cause that speaker right there. Uh, nigga, shooters, offense, defense, give a fuck without a reason. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Boom. Gun popping like a muffin on dirt right. Tap, watch the recline. Body bring them turn, short open sleep like a gun. Take the shot, shine. 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 Take the shot, shine.
for looking at your team wrong. I shoot you dead in your sleep, go get your dream on. I lost 40 grams when the shawl broke. I got back five, that's hard of hard work. We ain't have no harvest, just hard work. I have them leaning off the nano. You got too much motion. All this money, all these guns, I'm in toting. Comes a hundred clips, nigga. I'm from New York. You no, know, no matter what niggas say, my big homie shows me from Bronx River. Rest in peace to my big homie, B.O. Yeah, fuck is that? My question to all you bitch ass niggas that be telling my niggas not to fuck with me. 
Are you showing them love? Or are you mad because they winning? Sound you with up. Oh, nigga, five, so oh, 50 P's for the U, I'm trying to feed the block Big ring, that's my brother, no, he keep a knock Got some youngins and they shooters, no, he keep a chop D-Way, you gon' let go to see the money What you talking about? Not money, bitches, hoes, we got them Snakes, killers, feds, they watching all right, you the trick that is no so how we what you talking about? Switching back doors, it ain't an option. Know how we moving, we gon' spin it if we full away. Know them bitches start fucking if we still away. Couple shots to his leg, he can't stand it, eh? I tell you, bitch, I tell him, eat the cake, anime. If he ain't loyal to this game, he got a price tag. Want a gun, you got punched, but you ain't fight back. Gotcha, what up? All the chains on our neck, we need an ice we pack. We know what up? My Uncle Drew beat the murder, call him Mike Jack. Beat it. All his head tap, turn into some demons. All this jury got me feeling like a demon. Told my brothers that I got them, they believe it. They Yo, believe it. It's that season. I love my bitch, but I just can't stop cheating. Lizzie. Five God, you know Swelly choke your little man out. I ain't gonna say his name. You know Swelly choke your little man out in front of everybody in that in, in that at that at that concert. Oh, he didn't tell you. Your little man's. He ain't tell you that Swelly choked him. <laughs> Never mind. It ain't my story to tell. <laughs> nigga choked that nigga out. One of you third, you heard. <laughs> Bro, my heart won't stop bleeding. Won't bad, but niggas won't stop bleeding. Yeah, you know the problem. I can feel it in the air. I can feel it in my eyes. No, 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 no. I got the Yola, you can have what you want, that white what? I'm only selling ounces and up, chrome nine, it's kinda loud Gotta muscle it up when it dump, it sound like a nigga close in the trunk Yeah, I'm two-stepping with my shoes on I'm Mike Jack, I got my shoes on Niggas something tough, but get you boomed on Get spanked out to get boomed on Yeah, I can't sleep at night I know a couple homies, they ain't eat last night Yeah Catch you lacking cause they creep at night And you gon' tuck your chain cause they Debo hype Yeah, from Bronx to Harlem, nigga, I'm well known Came a long way from breaking faces and jaw bones Made a lot of bread on fake names and small phones Find to change my name, just call me cousin and cops season, I love my bitch, but I just can't stop cheating With me, my heart won't stop bleeding Won't never, nigga, won't stop Get back to your music. Five God made some of the best music with me ever. Get back to your fucking music, nigga. The streets is over for us old niggas. The world is a battlefield. It ain't about the streets. It's about worldly politics. This world is a battlefield. Matter of fact, fuck these bitch ass niggas. I'm gonna play a female song. They got more power. I dedicate this female to you bitch ass niggas. Ain't how it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just sleep with me. 
I'm like, y'all talking in the comment section. I'm just reading right now. Like, damn. 